Okay, guys, normally I wouldn't uh, make a video or fall into too much of this, but, uh, you know, it could be considered conspiracy, whatever. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. But the thing is called Operation Gotham Shield. I've looked into it over the last couple of days, and there's a lot more information out there than I initially thought. Uh, as you can see, it's the feds to simulate a nuclear blast over New York City. Uh, the dates of this uh, event are April 18th through May 5th uh, for the entire event. Uh, what makes it pretty uh, suspicious to me already is there were power outages just uh, yesterday. San Francisco was the big one. There were some in New York as well as uh, other places. But from what I had heard on uh, Fox News, I only heard it said once, but they tried to say that the substation that caught fire in San Francisco was also the reason there was no power in the other areas, New York being one of them, which I find very hard to believe even if it was the same uh, company. EMP sounds uh, kind of likely. Not that it actually happened, but very possible for this, quote, drill. Just seems very, very weird. And they're trying to say that it's to have preparations in place in case something does happen. But I'll read the basis of it. On April 18th through May the 5th, 2017, state, local, and federal organizations are planning for Operation Gotham Shield, a major nuclear detonation drill in the New York, New Jersey area, along with the Canadian-U.S. border. During the exercise, four nuclear devices, two of which are rendered safe during the U.S. Department of Defense Vital Archer exercise. Interesting name, because the event that almost caused a nuclear war, which was a drill, was Abel Archer. When the Russians uh, had heard it and almost uh, thought it was legit, can't remember the guy's name, you can look it up, but uh, he prevented it by thinking, hey, let's hold off, wait a minute here, see what happens. And they still celebrate the guy in Russia for not uh, causing Armageddon. But that's another matter. But the vital archer exercise and one successful 10 kiloton detonation in, the, in New York, New Jersey area, along with one smaller detonation on the U.S.-Canadian border. Normally, I might not have thought a whole lot about this, but let's look at the dates and everything. Uh, one, I want to put, this is from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, and I'll put all these links in the description of the video. But, <clears throat> let's see. This is their uh, same website. This is the event calendar from uh, Health and Human Services. Exercise, Gotham Shield. I know it's a little tricky to see. Let me see if I can try to enlarge this best I can here okay location we know and I'll show a map here in just a second start time 424 at midnight end time 428 and these dates are uh, very interesting first off the 25th of uh, this month which would actually be the 24th here 25th in North Korea is one of their national holidays where they celebrate the army. It's one of their biggest uh, public holidays. So it's uh, right here. Military Foundation Day. So that's a uh, pretty big uh, event. And it's when a lot of people say that will be the next logical time for North Korea to test a nuke. Huh, we're doing a nuke drill same day. Go figure. Well, the other uh, event, uh, which you can look this up as well, is the 28th, government shutdown. So they've got until that 11.59 time there to figure out, you know, are we going to keep the government funded or not? And uh, President Trump has already said uh, to prepare for the rest of the government to prepare for the shutdown. So that seems kind of uh, suspicious as well of all of this stuff kind of correlating together. Uh, got a few other things. Uh, the organizations that will be involved in this uh, <clears throat> Operation uh, Gotham Shield. U.S. Department of Energy, 
the defense, uh, the Nuclear Detection Office, FBI, FEMA, of course, Northern Command, uh, and all the emergency management offices in the area, City of New York, State, you know, New York, and New Jersey as well. So, is anything actually going to happen? I don't know, but I would say it's a safe bet if it were going to. This is a prime example. Every other event that has happened from 9-11 up until current times has always had a drill of some sort involved. Now, I'm not going to say that all of these events that have happened are hoaxes, because in my mind, a hoax is, you know, like a Hollywood movie. Nothing happened. Now, a false flag, on the other hand, means, yes, something happened. People got killed the whole nine yards, but not necessarily for the reasons you might think. You know, there's always underlying uh, reasons. So, a lot of sites, here's the activist post, and there's several others that are saying false flag watch is now active, and to keep a very close eye on everything that's going on. Uh, on weekend, you know, it's kind of hard to say. You can, you know, people think that weekends a lot of people are out and about, but with these uh, few days here, Excuse me, 24th through the 28th, if I can move this over here. So that would be Monday through Friday, basically the whole week there. Anything is likely to happen, but we've already saw the power outage aspect of it, which could have had something to do with solar activity, is very possible, but... I'm not one to believe in coincidences. Anything can happen. Uh, and this is something else I wanted to put on the screen here. If I can make this uh, a little larger, maybe. Here we go. An actual map. Gotham Shield uh, exercise location. So you can see where you know things are reportedly planned to take place from D.C., Trenton, New Jersey, Brookhaven. So... And here are their uh, objectives, it is more or less to evaluate ability uh, of the Department of Energy implements and how they, you know, work with state and local agencies, gauge effectiveness of the coordination and just the flow of, you know, emergency response as well as, you know, liaisons uh, to just get the flow of information out there as well as, you know, protecting the people it's in general. So, I'll put, like I said, all the links down, but I just kind of wanted to get other people's opinions, and if anybody else has any links or any current uh, info that they could put down in the comments below, it's just so many things going on all at once, you know, we're a nuke drill, uh, government shutdown, North Korean mess, you know, they're wanting to test something, uh, so who's to say? You know, it's really hard you know, tricky to say, and another thing I would, and I don't want to be a fear person, but I've heard this mentioned uh, a number of places, is to keep a close eye on what's going on at your kids' uh, you know, schools and things, uh, you know, everybody knows their kids better than anybody else, so kind of feel them out, you know, if you get a weird vibe, you know, that something might not have been quite right with your kid's, you know, child's school day, or if at all possible, you know, maybe take your kids and pick them up from school if possible, or someone you trust. Kind of scope out, you know, get a visual. Does things look a little different at the school properties, maybe, or things just not seeming quite right? And see if your kids mention anything, you know, maybe drills or, you know, strange activity going on. You know, you never know. I mean, kids, yeah, they're kids, and, you know, people discredit them a lot of times but at the end of the day they're the ones in those school buildings for you know several hours a day every day parents only hear you know basically what the school wants you to hear when they send notes home or maybe a phone call if you're that lucky but you know de depending on the age of your kid and all of that but you know get an idea of what's going on and you know, if you can, if at all possible, you know, maybe give your kids some instructions of what you would want them to do in the event of, 
Well, let's say the school wanting them to do something that you necessarily wouldn't want your child to do or partake of, whatever it may be. Yeah, there's just a lot of crazy stuff going on. Not necessarily just this, but, you know, all events, not events, but anything that could go on day to day could be anything. But you should have a plan in place to, hey, if something goes on and it's not something that we agree with as a family or whatever the case may be, the kid has to know how to react one way or another, not just be another sheep that's herded with the masses. You know, I'd hate to see that happen to anybody. But, like I said, if anybody's got anything, updates on this Gotham Shield, uh, now, in my area of Ohio, of course, I listen to a lot of uh, police scanner activity. Anything I can put in, in the radio that I can pick up is always interesting. So, if by chance anybody has anything, has a scanner or anything in their area, or in this New York, New Jersey area, and has a radio of any kind that could pick up any transmissions possibly, that would definitely be something interesting to maybe come back to this video and report on. You know, kind of drop something in the comments of uh, what you heard or, you know, whatever. It'd be very interesting to know. So that's about all I've got for this uh, particular video. Like I said, I didn't think a whole lot of it right away, but now it's seeming kind of uh, interesting. Uh, like I said, the, the, the there will be four nuclear devices. Two are safe. Uh, two end up, quote, going off. Uh, so if anything happens, I guess we will definitely find out. But just wanted to kind of throw this out there in case anybody else might have uh, missed it. And like I said, I'll throw all the links to everything I mentioned uh, in the description. And if anybody uh, would care to, uh, you know, I'll put a donation link of mine down at the bottom. Uh, it does help a lot when, you know, keeping up equipment and other things with running the channel. And if not, I completely understand, but just uh, like the video, share it. That does help, and it lets me know that you guys do appreciate the videos. And that's about all I got for the time being. If anything else uh, that I find uh, comes out as far as update-wise, I'll make another video if it seems to warrant it. Uh, or if nothing else, I'll at least uh, comment again on this particular video. So I appreciate everybody watching, and stay safe.